Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Garden Farmer. And it's on Farm Farming Simulator 22. And we are on a uh, map that I have edited highly. Uh, the original base map is out there. And uh, if anybody wants to set it, let me know. I'll put it in the, into a zip folder and let you have it. Meantime though, let's get back to work. And in today's episode, we have contract that we're going to go do. We have a bailing job that we need to go do and make some money. Go ahead and get in a cab. town so we'll leave that open now we've uh, made a deal with the uh, farmer to do his fields but we were gonna have to borrow equipment and he made the arrangements and the equipment is supposed to be around back here oh it's not hmm that's not good. Where's the equipment? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I probably have to check in with them inside the you know, office. So give me one minute here. All right, good. Yep, yep, yep. All right, good. Take care of this. Meantime, though, it'll just take a second. All right, yeah, they, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, there we go. There it all is. They had to uh, get it all out for us. Mm, yeah, they did say this would be alright. They're not expecting anybody to need the uh, buy point here today. So, that's all done. And he wants it mowed. Tedded. Ted. Teddy. Wind road and then picked up. And this is going to be a bit of fun. Alright, let's get over here. Let's pull up our GPS so we can find our way. Okay, just around the corner here. Very small town, very small. I got to turn here. And I guess, yeah, looks like the field's on our right here. Go ahead and get lined up and then we'll unfold everything. Unfold. Go ahead and lower it, but we're not going to turn it on just yet. Oh, wrong button. Go ahead and unfold this. Lower it down. Now this one we'll go ahead and turn on. Pull forward. Switch to the implement in the back and then turn it on and we'll start mowing. I suck at mowing, so this ought to be a really good treat for uh, everyone. Let's turn off the uh, front mower for a minute. Now we're going to turn off the back one. So we can get it lined up. 
start the front one back up and start going again. And now we're in the field, it doesn't matter where we're at. Go ahead and start that one. Do this for the outline edge, and that way we have a uh, basically a header done. Uh, where is the line? I think it's about where I'm at. Basically a rinse and repeat type deal for the rest of the corners. Alright, so we just got done with this field as far as mowing goes. Now we got to go get the uh, tether and come back over here and get it tethered up and then wind road and then bail. dropped off. We'll put it back the way I got it, just in case they want it that way for the next person. Off we go to Ted. And now we're at the field. Uh, this is probably going to be done outside of cab because uh, I'm not real good at doing this in the cab. Okay, folks, we just finished with the tedding. Let's get this folded up. Alright, time to go get the uh, wind row and get that done, and then we can get on to the baling. I think we're using a round baler, and in all honesty, I'm kind of not the biggest fan of round balers because of all the stop and go you gotta do. Oh, too sharp. And there we go. This thing is tiny. It is so tiny, it's... I don't even know if you can actually call it a windrow. Or like a fan. Turn it on its side. You'll see what I mean here in just a second. Mm. I think we're going to go down to the other end. Get it unfolded. And uh, this part's not gonna be fun, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that little button that says hire a worker and uh, get this done that way because it's a nightmare to do it otherwise. Put this one. So here we go. We're going to pay our neighbor here to uh, go ahead and do it. 
you know, we'll take the credit for it actually getting done. You know, he'll, he'll get a little bit of pain. You know, we'll get the benefit of the rest. And, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll end up eating into our profits a little bit, but not too much. I don't think. We'll find out. Hopefully, it won't be much. Anyway, so I'll bring y'all back in when this is all done. See you then. Alright, so he's, I think, on his last little swipe right here. I think we can scoot our butts out that little gap right there, too. Yeah, he is. Okay, let's go ahead and fold. All folded up. Alright, let's get this back over here, get it swapped out, and get... What are we at? Bailing? Yeah, I think we're at bailing now. We're now at the bailing stage. Okay, here we go. Let's get the bailing. Okay, so uh, we're at the very last bit of it. There's definitely not enough here to uh, make another bail. That's the only thing I don't like about round balers. Don't get what's in them back out. I mean, there is no force over overload dumping. Whoa, where are you going? All right, so. It helps if you actually go the right direction, you know, hit reverse, not forward. Let's get turned around here so we can see out the other side here.
Now we'll go ahead and get turned around because this makes it easier to see it exactly what we're looking at here. Put me down. Okay. Now I wish it was straps. There's no strap. Nope. Nope. No strap. You just hope this day. So how many more have we got to do? Let's take a look. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five more to go. That's not bad. So it made nine total bells. Thirty-seven percent of the contract done. Seventy-four percent. Tell me, what's your favorite uh, tractors? Let me in the comment section down below. Look forward to reading all about it. Hopefully, everybody's had a good day today. Lower, not lower. Thank you. And put that down. What is that? And smack. Got it. Mm. Okay, and I'm thinking once you see the amount down there on the bottom of the screen come up, I think it locks it into the carrier. If that's the case, that's pretty cool. I was expecting more like ratchet straps myself. Why are we going sideways? I think after this one, we only have that one more. It's over there. So, yeah, don't like the wiper motor. It's right in the way. Um, whoever designed this tractor, uh, yeah. You put it right in the middle, maybe? Maybe a little easier for uh, people trying to see. Got it. Kind of wish there was a way to put that one on here. One less trip. Okay, we just got four hundred or five hundred forty-eight dollars. The contract is finished. Now, do question is do we want to sell these bales and I'm thinking the answer would be seeing as how we were at 17 you know and change and now we're down to 14 85 we sell the bells to cover the cost of the uh, employee that we bought you know hired bought yeah mm -hmm. we buy people now don't you know uh yeah we sold them and actually, it was worth it. I'm going to sneak through here. Because it's right here. And 
now it's locked it in. Now we are done on this field, right? No more. Good. Good, 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 good. And we're going to do the same thing. Sneak on out through this little opening. So we don't have any animals that need it. Another $797, so that's well worth selling it. I'm just going to park this right here, and we'll go ahead and uh, jump on out. That has been a lovely setup. I've enjoyed using it very much. Uh, that would be the Fent 314 Vir uh, Viro? Vero? Vero. 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 Anyway. <laughs> go wheel, go wheel. G1 F125. Uh, Coon Winrow. Uh, I'm thinking this is Pottinger. Al Alpen Hit. That's in times fast. GMD 4411 Coon, rear deck mower, or rear mower, I wouldn't say deck, anyway, uh, not sure, judging by the colors, I'd say it's a Pondinger, anyway, point being, let me uh, go talk to them, let them know that it's all done, and make a phone call. And let the owner know that his field is done. Be right back, y'all. $5,137. Not bad. Alright, well. They've already taken care of the equipment. And it looks like it's getting to be a little dark out. It's been a long day with mowing, bailing, and taking them to get sold, so I'm a little famished. I want to go grab something to eat and relax for a little bit, so uh, a lot of hard work for a pretty good day's worth of pay. You know, we got, we're now up to, uh, Nine thousand and thirty dollars, so that's not bad at all. We're doing good. We'll run out back real quick, check on our uh, garden here. I'm seeing the plants, and I'm seeing what looks to be some. Yeah, it's getting a little dark, ain't it? Yep, stupid deers in this game, I'll tell you. Alright, let's see here, what have we got so far? Um, 469 out of 20,000 liters, so... And it shows for spawning, I don't want it to spawn right now. Let's do storing. Because I don't want a big pile of uh, minnows sitting there. <laughs> Not right yet. Let's get them. You know. We'll store them for the moment and then we'll take them and spawn them out and sell them when there's enough of them. But as of right at the moment, it is. Uh, been a wonderful day here on the farm. Uh, decided to do a little contract work to try and make some money up. Hope everybody enjoyed today's episode. In the meantime, though, if you liked what you've seen, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more, and you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. 
and please don't forget the bell icon so you get notified of any videos that get posted. Meanwhile, y'all stay safe, take care. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.